Take a look at this. This is what making games can be like. Here I'm working on a project in Dreams, a game engine slash creative software running on a PlayStation. To me Dreams is the perfect example of immersive game development. And here's an example of just how that works in Dreams. I'm standing directly in the game scene itself, and in here I can change everything. I can build things, I can modify any element in the scene. I can color, I can sculpt, I can animate, I can make game logic. I can even make particles by just waving my arms in front of the TV, drawing brush strokes in thin air as I'm doing so. With just a few changes I can make these brush strokes appear to be alive. I can even make them appear to be fire, and by placing a spotlight underneath the paint stroke, I can make it look even more convincing. Notice how everything is running in real time here. The waves are still moving, the sound is playing, everything is happening live as I'm building it. Adding sound to the scene is just as easy. Find a fitting sound. Add it to your scene. Change the fade zone, tweak the settings and there we go. Let's work a bit more on the fire effect. We need some black smoke of course. And we do it in exactly the same way that we make the fire. We just paint brush strokes on the screen instead of actually working with a particle system for something like this. We need some burning embers too, and by now you know how we do that, right? Brush strokes on the screen. Let's add a few spotlights to illuminate the water surface. Let's take a look at the finished thing here. There was something off about that woman. I told my husband we shouldn't have let her move into the village, but he didn't listen. Now look at what happened. The church is burning! The church is burning! 